Hello, hello, Tatum here. Welcome to Candy Crush Your Workouts. It's day 10 of this four week challenge to keep you moving. Let's elevate that heart rate and burn those calories again, but with low impact movement. We are going to flow from one exercise to the next with no rest for some low impact steady state cardio. Today's workout will boost our energy, improve our cardio, allow for some recovery from day nine, and lift our mood. It's time to get started. Grab a mat, towel, water, click play, follow me. Let's get to it. All right, hello, hello, welcome back. We're in double digits today, day 10 of my Candy Crusher workouts for this month. Super excited for this one. We have an intense cardio, <laughs> which you might say, wasn't day nine intense cardio? It was intense cardio strength. Today we're gonna do cardio. Um, I'm gonna keep it low impact for you though. Completely low impact, so I hope you enjoy this workout. I know a lot of you are enjoying the low impact. Um, I am adding five pounds here, some very light weight. You don't have to use any weight at all today, but I thought I would add a little bit just to raise up the heart rate, make it a little bit more intense um, along with that low impact. All right, let's go ahead and get started. I want some knee hugs here real quick. Just grab that shin. If balance is an issue, back up towards a wall. You can even lay down on your back and give yourself a little hug today. All right, I'm gonna move around because that's how I typically do this one. Just walking it out giving myself a big little leg hug here. <laughs> a big little, a big leg hug. All right. Quick warm up today. Let's go ahead and march. We can march it back, march it forward. I want you to lift those knees. We just gave them a nice hug, stretched them out a bit. Let's lift and move them. Good job. It's going to be quick. We're going to move right into this workout. We are going to have two sets of six exercises. So two circuits, six exercises, 45 seconds each. No rest in between. Once we get done with our um, sets, we'll have a little rest. And then we're going to hit it all the way through again, okay? And one big, so 12. Our last circuit will be 12 exercises. Let's go side to side lunge here. I call it a side slide up and down. Open up the inner thighs here, stretch it out, push into the hips, feels good. Move along with me here. Whew. That's it. Three more, three, two, and one, let's go into butt kicks, just bringing those heels towards your bottom as much as you can. My right heel hits, my left does not. <laughs> now, if I were to foam roll, stretch out this leg, I could get that heel there, so pay attention to that. If you have any tightnesses, tightnesses? <laughs> any tightness? <laughs> it's early for me here today. You get what you get today. <laughs> we'll have fun, we'll get a good workout, whether my head is here or not. Here we go. 18 seconds, let's march it out again. We're gonna go into a squat heel tap. All right, we're gonna come down and up. We're gonna tap each heel right here. Squat heel, squat heel. We have a lot of squatting, a lot of lunges today. If that's a problem for you, you could take this one to a heel tap march and forget that squat, because you will see lunges. So just play it safe. Find your challenge there. Move safely, okay? Here we go and let's pick it up. We're gonna try to keep that heart rate elevated by moving quickly, but with good control and form. Keeping those knees right over those ankles. Or second, third toe, really, but. <laughs> All right, here we go, five seconds. What I mean is that we're not here, okay? All right, grab a light weight. We're gonna go lateral slide here. Lateral lunge slide. To a lateral arm raise. Down and up. We're trying to get down to that flitter ankle out to the side. If not, go shin to the side. Shin out, okay? Go as deep as you can working this. Now, you don't have to use a weight. We can just raise our arm, touch, lift out to the side. Still good movement. Heart rate's gonna go up. Anytime we raise those arms, so bring them out in front, overhead, out to the side. We're gonna bump up that heart rate. We're combining upper body core, lower body together in one movement. These hybrid complex movements just help. All right, good, other side. There we go, out to the side again. We're at the right foot now, coming down, lifting out. Now, you could swing a little bit here if you want, but I'm gonna lift 
I want that shoulder to work even though it's five pounds. So I'm gonna go ahead and lift it out to the side instead of swinging. And even though it's light enough to swing, maybe for another workout, we'll talk about swinging and do some swinging moves. But let's lift and get that shoulder to work for us just a little bit. You're gonna see another shoulder exercise too soon out in front. Woo! My heart rate is already raising. So I know day nine was pretty tough. All right, time. Nice work, here we go. We're going to what I call a tabletop plank. Come down to the floor, knees are hovering. Some of us are gonna stay right here, that's it. You're just gonna hover with his knees an inch or two. Some of us are gonna go ahead and wanna move here. We're gonna kick up. All right, we have six exercises in this circuit. My second six exercises that you see are gonna be very similar in nature, but just a little different, just a little varied. So we're gonna repeat a lot of these just slightly with a variation. There we go. Squeeze that glute, kick up. Make sure you're keeping that tabletop, okay? So not up here, get those knees down. If we need to practice that, stay there without the kick. Three, two, and one, good. I'm gonna take both dumbbells here. We're gonna reverse lunge with a front arm raise right out in front. That's it. You can use one dumbbell if you want. Raise it if you need to. You could do no weight at all. Again, our arms out in front weigh something, okay? It's tough. It calls on our core just to have arms out in front. So feel free to just raise your arms. Maybe you just work your lunges. Modify it. Take it down a notch wherever you need to. By removing the weight, by removing the arms, okay? You do you. Find your challenge there. Three, two, and one. Here's our exercise six. Follow my lead. This is a little bit more involved, but you've done all of these before. We're gonna walk it out into our high plank. We're gonna step it in. We're gonna come up, tap, bring it down, walk it out, inch warm back in, up to the top, clap, walk it out. Step in right, step in left, up overhead, clap. Bring it down, step it back right, left, walk it back in. All the way to the top, give me a clap. I wanna hear those claps. Here we go, walk it out. Good, step it in, right, left, up, clap, down, right, left, walk it back. All the way to the top, clap, there you go. Give me one more out here, three, two, and one. We're right back to the top. We're gonna squat and heel tap here. Here we go, squat, heel, squat, heel. All right, you got it. Keep moving for me. We'll go through this one more time. I'll have one break there for us. We'll take a little breather, not much. We're gonna keep the heart rate up today. If you need more time, you can always pause me for a bit longer or take these intervals down. These are 45 seconds. Great way to build and rest is to take it 30, watch our clock, and then take 15 seconds rest and then get back to the next exercise with me. Just modify so that you can keep moving today. Don't want you to wear yourself out and 10 minutes and stop. Three, two, and one. All right, here we go. Pick up that weight. Lateral slide here. Little lunge slide to lateral raise. Whew. There we go. Warming up quickly, heart rate is raising. Find those intervals that work for you. It's a wonderful thing about pre-recorded workout video. <laughs> you can just modify. When we take our 30 second rest, after this second round here, you can make it a minute. Good. Here we go. Keep reaching, go as far as you can. Now, if you're going down here and you're rounding, I want you to come up a little higher towards that knee or shin. Other side, here we go. We want that good flat back, okay? Neutral spine. Sometimes to get down to the floor, Maybe our knees won't allow us to bend or the muscles in our legs or tightnesses and we start to round. We start to do this and reach. I want you to bend this leg, kind of keep the chest up a bit in that lateral lunge. Good form, neutral spot. That's it, lift this arm. We could swing it because it's lightweight, but we're gonna lift and make the shoulders work for it a little bit. Even if it's not real heavy, I didn't go real heavy because again, I want us to keep that heart rate elevated. I don't want us to slow down too much. Three, 
two, and one. Good job. Here we go, back down to that tabletop plank. Knees an inch or two above the floor, neutral spine. All right, hold it there. If you want, kick up with me. Good. Squeeze the glutes. This one feels really good on the bottom. Great glute strength here, core strength. There's a lot going on. Lift. Squeeze and lift. That's it. Nice work. Keep it coming. Remember, 45 seconds. Take it down to 30. Rest for 15. Find your challenge. Sorry, my nose is going today. <laughs> Eight seconds. You got this. Three, two, and one. All right, do you remember what's next? Reverse lunge, front arm raise. Here we go, step it back. Now, I put my knees down. You could put down your knee and raise. Maybe you don't do it at the same time. You wanna reverse lunge, you work on that raise so you have good stability. If you wanna hover, so those legs are working a little bit more, hover, up to you. Good, but if the balance is off, you may wanna set it down, tighten up there, find your stability down and up. All right, it's all good. Modify. 10 seconds. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling this. And I don't know if I told you how this is gonna work, but I will here soon. Three, two, and one. <clears throat> here we go. Walk it out. All the way out to a high plank. Step it in, right, left, up to the top. Give me a clap, back down. Step it out, right, back, or left. Walk it back. Up to the top, clap. Walk it out, high plank, step in, and clap. Down, step it back, right, left, or left, right. Whatever feels good to you, or switch it up. Here we go. Out, 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 step, step, up overhead, big clap, down, out, out, walk it in, up to the top, and clap. Keep moving, keep moving. Last one here. I've got a 30 second break in here for water. Here we go, three, Two and one. Whew, good job. Grab a sip of water. 30 seconds. If your heart rate is really, really high and you're not able to talk breathlessly, like me right now, then go ahead and pause for at least a minute to two minutes and then come back and visit this second round with me, the second half. All right, we have a squat with abduction. So again, my first set and my second circuit, my first circuit, second circuit, kind of similar in nature as we go through. You'll see this. We're gonna squat, we're gonna abduct. So last time we did heel tap, we're gonna squat. I want you out to the side, squat. Make sure that you stay upright, that we're not leaning. Okay, if I lean, I give in to that lift. Tall, it's a small lift. Some of us, maybe it's a little higher depending on our flexibility and strength, but it should be small. You should feel this right in the hips. All right, so small squat, lift, small squat, lift. That's it, back and forth, you got it. 20 seconds here. And we're gonna lunge, we're gonna kind of side lunge kick, okay? Um, last time we did um, that lateral slide lunge to arm raise. So just try to tie it on. I do think about these workouts. I have fun riding them, so I like to share. <laughs> you may not care. Here we go, we're gonna reach down, we're gonna kick. Touchdown, almost like a reverse lunge, kick. Now, some of us can slide, like kick the foot, slide. Some of us are gonna step, step, kick. Step back, step, kick. All right, so even if I'm sliding, it's not super plyometric. It's more of a slide back, slide forward. You do you, modify, find your challenge. It's 45 seconds, so it's rough, it's hard. We're going low. If going low is too much, just reach towards the shin. Kick, okay, and maybe we kick low. Modify, three, Two, and one. Same thing, other side, here we go. Touch, one side's gonna feel more coordinated than the other. I always show my good side first. <laughs> At the gym, I always show my clients my good side. You rarely see my bad side. <laughs> here we go. For the purposes of demonstration, not ego, promise. <laughs> All right, keep moving. Woo. Love the endorphins that come with cardio and strength. Good, keep working. I know, it's a tough one. We're building on this second half. Just a little bit more intense. We can do it. Three, 
two, and one. All right, I'm gonna go with dumbbells on this one. Please know you do not need to use any weight at all. We're going back to that tabletop. For some of you, again, we're just holding and practicing. For some of you, you're gonna move with me, forward and back, with a little weight. There you go. Keeping those knees, keeping that tabletop with the back, keeping those knees close to the floor. About an inch to two inch. Look at yourself in the mirror. How do you look? Tabletop, if you're here and rounding and all over the place, just practice, maybe just lifting the arm off, staying in a tabletop here, so you can get the arm movement and keep that same form. Good, three, two, and one. Another one here is you could lift, 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 lift. Just practicing that. All right, here we go. Oh, I'm gonna keep my weights on this one. We're gonna shuffle to the left, punch to the center, punch to the right, punch. So punch, it's just a slide. Here, you do not have to use weight, okay? We're gonna go punch, center jump, cross, there you go. Right here, cross, turn, center, cross, turn. Right here, double jab. There you go, back and forth. Use your weight if you want, lightweight. I'm talking maybe, oh, threes. I have fives, not much more. Three, two, and one. All right, last one. Mountain climber, knee touch. So we're actually lifting off one hand here. I want you to try to keep your hips squared so we don't turn, we're at this anti-rotation. Just bringing that knee in, touching. If that's too much, tap it out in your mountain climbers. Or run it here for 45 seconds. You do you, modify. I'm going for this one arm, knee tap here, trying to stay squared up. I gotta draw that belly button in really tight. I gotta squeeze, I gotta push those toes into the floor. All right? That's it, opposite hand to knee. Posing hand and knee here. There you go. Try to keep those shoulders over the wrist instead of pushed way back here. Three, two, and one. Nice work, back to exercise one. Squat, abduct, squat, abduct. There you go. You could hold on to your weights if you want a little bit of weight here, I might do that. Just make it a little bit of strength cardio. Bump up the intensity slightly. Don't feel that you have to today. This is cardio. Doesn't have to be a whole lot of strength. There's always strength in cardio, but it can be more or less, depending on whether you want this weight or not. Woo, and I feel it. Just 10 pounds on the body. I always like people to think about that when you lift up your weight and you're holding them, what that feels like and what it would feel like if you gained five or 10 pounds, okay? Not in a bad way, here we go, lunge, touch, kick. Oops, not with the weights, here we go. Down and up for that kick, down and up. You can take it more of a step, you can take it more of a slide, all right? Um, a little switch here. Again, not to discourage you or be mean about it, but I'm just thinking about the joints with the weight, um, how much more work it is on the heart to add the weight. All right, so when we're thinking about health, I always try to think about that when I pick up that weight. It's just 10 pounds, maybe it's just five pounds, but it makes a difference on the body. Here we go, five seconds. Three, two, and one. All right, other side, here we go. And I know a lot of us are in it to lose weight, to look a certain way, but sometimes if we shift that mind towards our health and what that means for our joints, our knees, our heart, Sometimes it has a little deeper meaning, and sometimes that makes it a little easier to stay committed. Not easier, I want to almost say easier. More motivating, right? Good. That's it. Tap, kick, tap, kick. Nice work. Woo! Gonna feel this. Gonna feel this. You're doing awesome. Three, two, and one. Okay, here's our punch and uh, was this our second one? It is, oh, toe. Okay, we're crawling, tabletop crawl, sorry. I'm talking too much, I'm not paying attention. Let's crawl. If you're there, knees above, find that flat back. Look, I'm level to the floor, you gotta stay low. If that's too hard, just work on holding. Maybe work on moving those arms. Lifting the feet, arm, arm, feet, foot, foot, you know? 
Just kind of work on that, because that's what you do when you lift and move here. Good work. Keep it low, keep it low and steady. You got it. Imagine that glass of water sitting on your back and not spilling. Three, two, and one. Here we go. A little lateral shuffle with a crossover. Punch towards the center, cross. Punch, cross. Or jab if you wanna talk about that. Towards the center. And you could use one weight here too. You could punch out to the side, center, side. I like my crossover. Ooh, good, it feels more natural to rotate outside foot and arm together. Here you go, center. That's it, keep moving for me. Flow through it. Woo! 12 seconds. Remember we have that mountain climber from the floor with the knee tap if you're there. Three, two, one. Here we go, plank. Knee, knee, okay, whoop, there we go. I'm starting to twist, turn. Gotta draw that belly button in. Squeeze those glutes. Nice and tight here. There we go. Woo, we got it. Tap, 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 good. Try not to rotate. You can take this regular down the middle. No tapping for having trouble squaring off here. Woo, 12 seconds. Oh, I'm moving. Gotta draw, I gotta reposition. If you start to lose that balance, Go ahead and go to regular mountain climber. Three, two, and one. Good, 30 seconds. Grab a sip of water. Woo, here we go. We're headed back to the very first circuit. We're gonna do 12 exercises in a row. We're gonna run through each one of these to make three sets total. It's my favorite way to do cardio. Uh, we're gonna go ahead. Let's do this, 45 seconds again, squat, heel tap. Can you remember what we started with? All the way back to the beginning, all right? Only one set all the way through. So I have 12 exercises. We did the first six twice. We did the second six twice. Now we're going through one large 12 exercise circuit, just repeating the whole thing on tired body. Love it, it is one of my favorite things to do. I even do it with my strength training sometimes. I hit two sets hard of my circuits and I go back and I repeat it all the way through with tired muscles just to give my body that total body feel of all my muscles being kind of fatigued and working together to get through it. I think that's my triathlon mentality. Three, two, and one. Grab a weight, lateral lunge, slide to lateral arm raise. Here we go. One side, take it high, take it low. You can take it to that knee, you can take it to that foot or ankle. Just make sure that we have correct form. We need that neutral spine. We don't want to round to get to the floor. It's not doing us any good. Just come to that knee, okay? Keep it safe, keep it smart. Woo, there you go. Lift that arm for a little shoulder work, little delt work here. You got it. All right, so what the nice thing about this round is that once we knock it off, we knock it off. That's it, we're not coming back to it. Three. Two, and one. Here we go, other side, same thing. There you go, and you might notice that on one side, you can keep that neutral spine, you can bend better. Another side, maybe you find your form going, so modify to that side, modify on that side. Don't just keep working through it the same way because you did the other side that way, okay? So maybe you go to the knee on this one, even if you went to the foot on the other. Sometimes the muscle imbalances, tightness, can make our sides work just a little differently. There we go. We do want to take care of those. We'll get there. Whew. Good work. Eight seconds here. We have our tabletop plank. Three, two, and one. That kick back. Here we go. Knees hovering. Hold here, neutral spine, or kick it back with me. Lift. Don't swing and use the body. I want you stationary. My upper body is not moving, my trunk is not moving, just my glutes here and legs. Below the hip, okay? Here you go, below that lower back. Squeeze and lift. That's it, good job. Staying squared, anti-rotation here, no rotation. 
Just a lift behind. Make sure we're squeezing. All right, we got it. Eight seconds, you're doing awesome. Here we go. Three, two, and one. Grab both your weights. We have that reverse lunge front arm raise. If you're using weight, don't worry if you're not. Remember, you have choices here, options. Hover and bring those arms up in front as you reverse. Other option, knee down, raise, stand back up. Knee down, raise, offers more stability, a little bit more control, especially if those legs are tired or the core is tired. Good, that's it, keep moving. We're gonna feel it, right? Because we've already done these exercises all the way through. We've already fatigued our muscles, our body, our heart is feeling it. It's going to be a little tougher. Reel back the intervals if needed. There's time, walk out. Here we go, my favorite here. You know I love to get us up and down. Walk it out to a high plank. Step it in, I'm gonna step left, right on this round. Left, right, because I'm used to doing my dominant side, right, left. Always mixing it up. Here we go. Walk it out. Left, right, up, clap, down. Left, right, walk it in. Up to the top. I want to hear those claps all the way overhead. There you go. Tap it in. And up. Good. Back down. Left, right, walk it out. Or walk it back in. However you want to look at it. Here we go. 10 seconds of work. Let's move. Clap. Bring it down. Step it back. Ooh, I did right. See, dominant side. One to take over. And clap. All right, six down, six to go. Squat, lift, squat, abduct. Did you see? I think I leaned a little bit. Stay upright, don't give in. I want you to feel the strength in your hips here on that lift. Try not to swing, lift, squeeze. Lead with your heel a little bit. Maybe even back just a bit so you get the hip and you're not feeling it in your quads or your TFL in the front. You should feel it on the back side. So it helps to just lead with the heel, point the toe down. Go back just a bit, not completely back, not behind you, just to the side and back. Little slight diagonal. See if you can get those hips, those outside hips fired up. Three, two, one. Toffee, I'm gonna start my other side. We're gonna touch down, kick, okay? I started on the other one. I'm just gonna lead with some of my other sides. My side that's kind of like, yeah, I don't wanna do the work first. Now, sometimes on strength, it's best to do your strong side. Go to your weak side, because then your weak side's ready to go. I'm gonna just mix it up. I think mine's more of a brain thing than it is a physical thing, or a muscle thing. So we're gonna make my brain work here. Woo, here we go. Kick, down, kick. Good, step it, step it back. Remember, you can go to your knee here. You don't have to go all the way down. Time. Flip it around, here we go. There you go, feels so good to be on this side. Up, down, up, down. This is our third exercise of six. We're almost there. Whew. Lean for more work. Get, get high with that kick, get low with your lunge. That's how you take it up. You can hop it a little bit more. Kick, you know, a little balance in there if you want. I'm good where I am today. <laughs> 13 seconds, let's do it. Feel in the bottom, eight, six, three, two, one. Weighted crawl, or no weight, you don't have to use the weight. You can just crawl, work your crawl. Get that neutral spine, here we go. Keep those knees hovering. Walk it forward, four to six little steps. Walk it back. Check yourself out. Do you have a flat back, neutral spine? That's it. Some of us, this doesn't feel good on our hands. You're gonna leave the weights. You're just gonna work your crawl. Some of us just need to work bringing our feet up and off, hands up and off, holding that, that little tabletop plank. You do you, modify. Find your challenge there. Woo! Oh boy, three. Two and one, I feel like I ran three miles. All right, we have our crossover, punch, jab, crossover. Cross, jab, cross to the center. A little shuffle. You can step it, twist, center. You can just step. 
here, or you can slide with me, up to you. You can put the weights down and punch without. Notice when I cross over here, my back toe follows my belly button. My whole body rotates. Think like an athlete here. Good. That's it. 10 seconds. I can't believe it. We're already to our sixth exercise. Three, two, one. Here we go. Plank knee taps if you're there. Square off. Hold those hips square. Ooh, it's hard. Draw the navel in tight. Even think about pulling under that navel, right? Pulling just underneath there, up and in. Squeeze your glutes. Push those toes in. I have my hands spread wide, all my knuckles pressing into the floor. All right, we're tight. I want you to think about what an athlete, I want you to watch some athletes in the Olympics, whatever you can, find something. Notice how rigid they are, how they move. I always think like that. I always picture them when I'm working out. We're not loose, they're not loose. Three, two, and one, rest. All right, high five. Let's grab a sip of water, that was it. You could take that one more time all the way through if you really like that and you wanna go for it. I wanna mention something I like here after a sip of water. Something I wanna say, cause I'm a huge triathlon and runner endurance junkie. Love it, love it, love it. I'll have to admit. Breathe in. What I can say is if you're somebody who walks, ride your bike, run, mostly. We are not moving side to side. All right, our hips get weak, things get tight, hip flexors get tight, there's all kinds of things that go on. I mean, it's even, even for a soccer player that does move laterally, um, you know, there's repetition injury, that kind of thing. So just know that. Something I like about this kind of cardio here is it feels like I went out and ran, but you know what I'm feeling that I don't feel as much as good glute hip strength. Not that we're not using it. You go out and run a hill, yes. You go ride your bike on a hill, you've got glutes fired on, but only if they're firing, only if they're strong enough. Um, so this just kind of helps build up that strength so that when you do go out and run, bike, whatever it is, walk, you have good stability of the hips and good stability of the hips are gonna lead to good stable knees that stay tracking correctly and ankles on down. It's important, okay? All right, hope you got your breath down or your heart rate down. Let's go ahead and bring this left arm across since we did do a lot of lateral raises and front arm raises today. We were on those arms as well with our walkouts. Again, you'll notice that most of my workouts, I have us up and then I have us down to the ground. And I have us up and I have us down. That is important to me. I work with a lot of older clients. Getting up and down is an issue. And it becomes an issue the tighter we get, the weaker we get. Um, so just work on it. That's why I've got you here doing this stuff so that we forever feel fluid and mobile enough to just go up and down, up and down. All right, let's reach behind here too. Just kind of stretch out the chest and shoulders, walking it out there. Nice work. Woo. Heart rate's coming down, it feels good. Feels good. Let's bring it down to the floor. Let's go half kneeling position here today. We did get those hips. Actually, let me just go ahead and switch sides. Let's bring that right leg up. I'm gonna have you bring that left elbow outside that knee. We're gonna just stretch out the hips a bit. Get a little twist through the spine, the trunk here, breathing. Let it go, make sure you're breathing. I'm sorry if you hear my dog. Definitely on to something, he's barking, barking. <laughs> you may not hear it, I don't know. I do. Ah, breathe. Great job, let's go ahead and switch. Let's bring that left foot up into a half kneeling position here. Right elbow outside, press those palms together, push the elbow and knee together, give it a little pressure. Find your breath, find your breath. Ah, silly dog. There we go, breathe. I hope you enjoyed this workout. If you did, please remember to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't so that you always know when a new video is coming out. And make sure to tell a friend to tell a friend. Keep passing it along. We are trying so hard to grow. It has not been an easy process. So anything you can do to help and keep us going here is very much appreciated. Thank you so much for tuning in and showing up. And for those who are commenting, thank you, I appreciate it. I will get back to you. I'm a little slow at it, but I promise to get back to you. Let's go ahead and bring 
a right foot forward. Oh, we're running out of time. Let's just get a butterfly in here today. Real quick, I'm sorry, we ran out of time. Hopefully that heart rate's coming down. Spend some extra uh, time here stretching on your own. I have a couple videos up, not a lie, with stretching if you wanna visit them. There we go, that's my timer for 35 minutes. So if you have to get out of here, I understand. I'm talking. I'm gonna take my elbows and push down just for a few seconds here to help because they wanna pop up because I'm a little tight in those, a lot tight in my adductors. Let's face it, Tatum, not a little, a lot. All right, great job today. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. And I hope it was um, um, a mix up from day nine. I know nine was crazy, okay? <laughs> I'll admit it, it was a little crazy for me. Um, I did have fun with it though, but going on to day 10, I hope this feels a little bit more, still in high intensity, but doable, low impact, all of the above. Let me know, I'll see you next time, bye-bye.